Okay, so today we have an interesting problem here. The uh, the gas, our tractor won't stop running, and it's it floods up in here and drips out. Um, and so, what I'm going to try and do is fix this. Now, I want to make it clear that I am not a mechanic. So if I call something a dingle hopper or what you call it or hoop de hoo, it's because I really don't know the technical term. That doesn't matter to me. What I am is somebody who is a small farmer and I need to learn how to fix these things on my own. And the point of these videos is to show viewers how to fix these things on their own. So to all you mechanics out there who get frustrated because they call something a whoop de whoop or a whatchamacallit, um, I apologize. But these videos are for folks that don't know what they're doing and don't know how to fix something. And what we're doing is we're showing people how to fix equipment like this because when you're out on a farm, things are constantly breaking. And you're not going to make any money in this business if you're constantly taking it down to a mechanic to get it fixed. I mean, the truth is, if you're starting out, you're going to have an older tractor, these things are going to happen, and we're going to have to hit fix the whoop de whoop. In order to figure out what's going on with our fuel system, we first have to understand how the fuel system operates. Now, when the fuel is leaking out like this, it's important to recognize that there is a way to cut the fuel off. The engine was off, the fuel was still spewing out. Underneath the gas tank, there is a shutoff valve which will shut the fuel line off. Interestingly enough, that's where we can start with how our fuel system operates. Fuel for this tractor goes into the tank. At the bottom of the tank, we have uh, the gas line leading out with the shutoff valve. The gas line then uh, travels through this area of the tractor and then shoots on back to the other side. Let's go over there and take a look at what we have there. So if you follow the fuel line over to this side, what you'll find in here is a doohickey called a fuel pump. That fuel pump is a mechanicalized fuel pump or a lift pump. On these older tractors, that's not an uncommon thing. Newer tractors may have an electronic fuel pump which uh, turns on and off when the engine needs it or calls for it. On these older tractors, fuel pump is constantly moving up and down and pumping fuel as the tractor uh, is on and calling for it. The way that the fuel pump works is being mechanicalized, it has an arm down at the bottom. That arm moves a, uh, a valve up and down which creates uh, pressure that sucks the fuel from the gas tank up into the pump and then shoots it back out towards the carburetor. Um, if that seal in there goes bad, what will most likely happen is you're not going to get enough fuel at the carburetor because it's not going to be suctioning the fuel through the system. It's unlikely that you're going to end up with extra fuel at the carburetor, which is our problem right now. The fuel pump does not appear to be the problem, but if you're not getting any fuel or uh, you're, you're having issues with fuel pressure, this is where I would start. So when you trace the fuel line back from the fuel pump over to this side of the engine, you find a doohickey back here that is called a fuel filter. The way that this particular fuel filter works is it has a basin at the bottom that, is a, that collects sediment in the fuel, and then the, the cleaner fuel runs back up into the carburetor. The carburetor uh, has what they call a float tank on it, and it has a a needle float, which is just basically a float. It's not really like a needle, but the, the, they, they call it a needle. And it, it moves up and down, and as, it's, as it moves down, it calls for fuel from the fuel pump. As it fills up, it, it, it rises and shuts off. Think of it like flushing your toilet. Um, it's pretty much exactly the same concept. When you flush the toilet, the toilet continues to fill until uh, the needle valve tells it to shut off. Um, basically what we have right now is an overflowing toilet and it, it's in the form of gasoline instead of waste which uh, I don't know which is worse but they both smell horrible. Our problem is most likely right in here in the carburetor float tank. When the carburetor float tank fills up it then releases fuel through weeping holes inside the carburetor. What happens from here is we're actually taking uh, the, the fuel it comes out of those weeping holes into your gas system and this uh, valve down at the bottom is actually designed to allow excess fuel to drip out so that your your air to fuel ratio is correct 
when we're flooding our engine out, we had we had fuel coming out all over the place down here because we were getting way too much fuel inside the carburetor through the weeping holes. Um, what controls the the fuel coming into the weeping holes is a combination of the the pressure being drawn by the engine through the air, and and that's what's calling for the fuel, and then the the needle valve will shut the fuel off as it stops calling for it. In theory, that's not. It's not the case right now. Um, so basically, uh, once the fuel comes out the weeping holes into here, it becomes more of an air to fuel ratio type scenario. So your choke is right here and your throttle is up here. Now, by pressing on the throttle, you're allowing more air through the system. That air is pulling the fuel out of the carburetor float tank and the more air that you're that you're pulling, the more fuel you're going to get, um, because the the engine is trying to create a certain mixture of air and fuel that'll then ignite by the spark plugs. If you're having issues where you're not getting enough airflow, it could seem the same as not getting enough gas, because they they're both one and the same when it comes to combustion. So those are the basics of how this uh, fuel system works. And if you understand the basics, then it can help you kind of break down what your fuel problem might be. In my case, my fuel is leaking out of the weeping holes, which means that something's got to be wrong with my float chamber. Another possibility that could uh, potentially become a problem is if your gas cap is leaking or your gas cap is clogged. The gas cap is designed to allow just a little bit of air through at a time so that uh, the the fuel pump, the mechanicalized fuel pump, uh, can get the right pressure as it pumps the gas through the system. Again, I'm not sure that the gas cap is my problem in this case. What I, what I have is just free-flowing gas, gas through the system. And that should actually be stopped by the needle in my uh, carburetor float tank. Stay tuned, I'm gonna tear apart uh, this system and try and fix my problem. I'll do a separate video on that. This video is more or less just to orient you on how the fuel systems of these old tractors work.